How's it going everyone? It's Sam. Today we're going to be going over how to send and receive crypto in the Treasure Model T. So a lot of people feel like it is very difficult to send crypto or they're very worried about it. I recently made a video on how to set up your treasure and I want to continue that series by showing you exactly how to send and receive crypto, talking it through and making sure you feel comfortable. Now, I am an affiliate for Treasure, but I'm giving you all the income that I make on the affiliate side for Treasure. So with the link underneath the video, I'm giving you 15% off. They allow me to split because otherwise if I gave no discount, I could get 15% of the sales. But I feel like it should be a human right to be able to store your crypto in a safe and secure place away from prying hands of crypto exchanges or governments. So I'm giving you the entire 15% discount uh, and I'm not making anything from the affiliate side. If I sell 10,000 of these, I'm not getting a penny from selling them. Now I'm still working with Treasure on the exact code, but the code will be underneath the video that you need to use. Make sure that you just check that out. When you hit the link, it'll be right next to it. It'll tell you the code to use underneath the video and in the comment section, and then you'll get that 15% off. If you don't mind, hit subscribe, turn on that bell notification, share this around to someone that you know that might find this interesting or insightful or wants to buy a crypto wallet. You can just share and there will be a code. You can use the link or you can type in the code uh, with the, that's underneath the video and I'll put it in the comment section too. So you're gonna start here uh, at the treasure site, you should buy your treasure through the treasure site. We covered this in the last video, but buy it directly from treasure. Using that link underneath the video, you're guaranteed to buy it from treasure. You don't want to buy it secondhand anywhere. Then you want to download the app, um, which we talked about in the last video too. You should have all that done if you're worried about sending and receiving crypto. If you haven't seen that past video, I'll put it on the end screen after this video so you can check it out. Now, Starting here, starting with the Treasure Wallet, I personally uh, have USB-C on my computer, so I need to set up a, I need to put a converter, USB-C to USB-C, which we also talked about in the last video, uh, just into my Treasure device, then I can plug it in here. Then I'm gonna pull up the Treasure Suite. So this is the app that you download from the internet. You connect your treasure, so it says not connected, tap to connect on my treasure device. So let me tap that. I need to set up, or I need to enter the pin code. We'll take just one moment here. And then it verifies the pin. And then I should be in here on, yeah, right here. So I have a hidden wallet and I have a standard wallet. If you didn't see how I set that up in the last video, I'm gonna enter the hidden wallet. So that way people can't uh, get into my wallet where I have the crypto unless they have this passphrase. Then I just have to confirm it on my treasure device. Looks like it's all good. Luckily, I remembered the passphrase. Of course, you have to remember your pin and your passphrase to get in. Uh, let's confirm empty wallet. The hidden wallet is empty. To make sure you're in the correct wallet, please type the passphrase again. Okay, so my wallet is ready to use. It gives a couple different piece of information here. Basically, I have nothing in this portfolio yet. I just set it up in the last video. I can receive, I can buy through their app as well. So you can actually convert, um, I'm not sure, yeah, you can buy P2P, you can spend crypto on partner sites. Uh, there are a couple different ways you can do it, but I typically just receive crypto. That's when you're just going to send it into this wallet from another wallet, which I'll show you here in a moment. Let's look at this. Uh, I've done everything for security, so I feel pretty comfortable starting to use this. And then it also shows my different accounts here. I only added Bitcoin and crypto functionality, uh, Bitcoin and Ethereum functionality here. So I can receive both of these. They will give different addresses. So now that I have this set up, I can receive crypto. I'm going to receive Ethereum. So I can show the full address here. You can just go to, over to accounts here. I can copy this first. And I'm going to send it over to my phone. I'm just going to message myself through iMessage. Uh, so that way I have the, the uh, wallet address. Now this you can send to other people. 
if they're receiving uh, if they're sending you crypto you're receiving it you can send this out you don't want to send your seed phrase you don't want to send your passphrase you don't want to send your hidden wallet passphrase uh, or, or your pin either but you can send this this is the public uh, wallet address so I'm gonna send it over to myself okay now I'm gonna go into my phone so let me record this so everyone can see I already have some Bitcoin and some Ethereum in my trust wallet. So I'm going to send some of the Ethereum from here. So first of all, I have to go over to my messages. I'm going to copy this address. It's really important to make sure that you have the right address. So you just literally want to copy and paste it. You don't want to type it in or anything like that. So just copy. Go back into the app. I'm going to go to Ethereum. Something that's really key whenever you're sending and receiving crypto is making sure that the addresses match up, that that you're sending the right cryptocurrency. Because on Ethereum, depending on what app you're in, you can send via Polygon, you can send via Solana, you can send ERC20, you can send BEP20. Uh, there are a lot of different chains that you can send it on, but this is going to be ERC20. If you don't see it on Treasure, that's pretty much the default. So send and this is going to send in ethereum it doesn't give as many options i don't believe in trust wallet as maybe some other apps and then i'm going to have to pick the eth amount so all i did here was paste it you want to make sure that every number and letter is the same so you can even double check it, it starts with ox3530 and let's check the end yep it ends in 1 2001 okay so select the amount. I'm just going to do a small amount so I can show you how it's done. Um, we're going to start with 0 0.01 Ethereum, so $16. Now there is going to be a bit of a fee. So this shows 79 cents for a network fee, which honestly isn't bad. A lot of the time it's much more than that. So I'm going to confirm and just to go through this, it shows the amount of Ethereum, the amount in US dollars of that Ethereum, the Ethereum asset, going from my main wallet in my trust wallet to the wallet address that I just set up. Here's the network fee, 79 cents. And then the total is the amount that I'm sending over plus the network fee. So let's confirm that. Now, after I start the transfer, it will take a moment. So with any address, it does, t or with any uh, transfer in crypto, it does take a few seconds to a few minutes. Sometimes it can take longer than that if there's a lot of congestion, but I think this will be pretty quick because it was pretty cheap. And as you can see here, it's already in my wallet. So if I go over to my dashboard, I have $16.77. Now, if I want to send out of this, it's a very similar process. So I just go over to Ethereum, I hit send, then I'd have to type in the address. So I'm going to receive crypto in my trust wallet. I'm gonna copy this and then I'm gonna send it to myself so that way I can paste it here. Then I have to paste it into the, the address bar here. Select the amount, 0.01. Not enough funds because I need to include the fee. In Trust Wallet, it includes a fee. Here, I have to include it myself because I had extra in the trust wallet. It just took it from my extra, uh, my extra Ethereum. But here, this is all that I have. So I'm going to put 0 0.009. You can see the fee is 63 cents. So I can put a little bit more in there. Okay, review and send. Address, that's the right address. Gas price. I need to confirm on treasure. So it's just asking me the right, is, is this the right wallet address? I'm going to confirm. Sending amount is 0 0.00962, confirm. Gas price, confirm. Hold to confirm to actually send it, send the summary, and then boom. Yep, so it just sent. Let's check my wallet here. Okay, and I just got it in my trust wallet. So that's how easy it is. Of course, if you're using different websites, the locations are going to be a little bit different. You may have to specify that you actually want to receive an ERC-20 or BEP-20 or whatever you are trying to send and receive in. Again, I would typically just assume Ethereum is ERC-20 on Treasure. 
um, but you may have to specify on the other end. It's the same thing for Bitcoin. Bitcoin's usually sent in Bitcoin on the Bitcoin network, so I would select that. Of course, make sure that you are comfortable with this before sending any large amounts. I would typically send a, tr a test transaction before sending a large amount. So I don't know if you have a thousand dollars in your crypto portfolio and you're looking to send a hundred dollars, I would send maybe a few dollars first. Of course, it's going to be a little bit dependent on the fees as well. And if you have a smaller portfolio of maybe a hundred dollars, you don't want to send many transactions ever because it will eat into your uh, funds if you're sending a transaction over Ethereum and it costs $5 to send it. I would rather just keep it on an exchange at that point, most likely. Unless, of course, you're going to buy a lot more and you just want to test it out to see how the whole process goes. Now, let me know your thoughts on all this underneath the video. I would suggest going to a very quiet place to do this as well. Make sure that you don't have distractions because it can be scary sending large amounts of crypto knowing if you get one letter wrong or you you miss something along the way, you could lose everything. I have sent transactions to the wrong place before, but I always do a test transaction first to make sure that I have everything correct. So I hope that helps. Thank you so much for watching. Check out the links underneath the video to Treasure, one of the best wallets out there, by far uh, my favorite, and you'll get 15% off using that link or using the code. Thank you so much, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.